Welcome to this video tutorial dedicated to the new mid-market quotation interface introduced with Actus Release 20.0. For newcomers, Actus is the offer preparation and quotation tool for the Alcatel Lucent Enterprise Communications Business Division. Actus will be your companion for all OpenTouch Suite for MLE offers that you will create for your customers and prospects. This specific video tutorial is dedicated to the simplified quotation interface introduced for the Go Mid Market program and released with version 20.0 of Actus and offering a greatly simplified quotation experience. The Actus Mid Market profile is an efficient quotation or offer resource to be used while with your customer in the early sales phases or back in the office while finalizing a quotation. It is tailored for either the seasoned sales or pre sales experts who are looking for maximum productivity or for newcomers to the OpenTouch suite for MLE and provides a simplified quotation interface for the essential needs of mid-sized businesses, whether they are looking for a voice-centric communication solution or a more sophisticated UC offer. My name is Aaron Cole, Solutions Architect from the North American region, and I will walk you through this Actus 20.0 tutorial and transform you into an ambassador for the ALE communication solutions with three short lessons. First, Installing the application, you'll discover the interface and become familiar with the use and navigation of the tool. Second, creating your first offer, evaluating customer needs and transforming them into an actual quotation. And third and final, updating an existing configuration of a customer, performing an add-on to increase the size, add a new service or optimize their solution. So if you're ready, then let's go. Part one of this tutorial is getting started. We'll learn how to install the application, log in, and navigate through the interface. The administrator has provided you with a zip file. Unzip this content into a folder of your choice, shown here on the desktop. Double click on the installation file to install the simplified Actus Quote tool. The tool has been installed automatically into C Drive Actus Go Mid Market. The directory might already be set by your administrator, if not, we recommend to install the tool into this folder. Double click on the Actus icon to launch the application. The first time you run the simplified Actus quote tool, you have to select your profile given by the administrator and also set your default language. Here the administrator has given the sales mid-market profile, select it. Then enter your name into the login window. This identifier will be automatically associated to all offers you'll be creating. We recommend using your name or your company ID. This ID will be stored in the tool so you don't have to fill it again when you restart the application. Click on the login button. The Actus application is now running. Here is the main screen. You will see a list of all the offers you have created. It's currently empty so let's create our first one. Click on the new offer icon. Go to the right of the screen and fill the offer information. Enter the name of the offer, for example, IP telephony, then select the solution, Midmarket Oxy or Midmarket OTBE. Here, Midmarket Oxy is selected. That's all you have to do at this stage, so click on OK to create the offer. Here is the offer screen. This is where you'll be entering your customer's solution requirements. At the top, you can enter your customer's information. The rest of the quote is a single page view that you scroll down to enter the customer requirements. Commercial items are easily recognizable with a picture and if you click on the I button you get additional information about them. As you can see here for the 8029 premium desk phone it provides at a glance all key selling points. Keyboard, backlit screen and to close the window just click on the X button. Items are sorted by categories and topics business phones, mobility. You can browse through the different categories and topics, telephone messaging, greeting and routing, by scrolling down with the bar on the right or with the mouse wheel. There is a quick access bar at the top to go directly to the subcategory in one click. If the customer has several sites or locations, you can configure them on the top left-hand corner. Once configured, you'll see a list displaying all the sites. So at a glance, you can get an overview of the customer's topology and click on any site to get further details. 
To create a remote site and enter its requirements, just click on the Add button and it will be displayed on a page to collect the details for this specific remote location. To switch from one site to the other, just click on that site's name. So let's go back to the main site. On the bottom left hand corner, you have the total number of users and the price of the solution, including price of hardware and licenses, fixed and mobile terminals, and a price for maintenance. Part two of this tutorial is to create a new offer. We'll learn how to create a new offer, print a quote, and place an order. Now that we have seen the interface, let's go through an example. Here is a customer with two sites, a main office with 105 employees, with executives, sales, and back office staff, and a branch office hosting an R&D team of 50 employees. To optimize the space, offices will be reshaped in an open plan workspace while keeping a dedicated desk per employee with a later possibility to have shared desks. Currently, each site has its own PBX and the customer wants to reduce the phone bill with free communication between the head office and the branch office and using a SIP service provider. The customer asks for a budgetary quote for a single full IP communication solution for all sites adapted to the new workspace. All employees need call by name and a voice mailbox. You start by filling in the customer information, customer name, business type, address, and a name for the main site. This information will be displayed in the quote, while more details about the customer can be added later on. What is a main site? Usually it's the site that hosts the communication server. As said before, the customer's offices are in an open plan environment, which makes it difficult to have private conversations especially for executives that have conversations on confidential topics. You can propose the 8068 premium desk phone for the executives. The large and backlit screen is comfortable for managing several calls and the Bluetooth handset allows the executive to move away from their desk to handle private conversations. There are five executives, enter the number of 8068 premium desk phones. The yellow color indicates that an input has been entered it helps identify quickly what has been configured or changed. The open plan concept also reduces the amount of space per employee, so most employees have small desks requiring a compact phone. You should propose the 8018 desk phone, a compact model, but with a high level of features. You can press tab to go from one item to the other. Enter the number of employees with an 8018 desk phone. Press the OK button and you'll automatically see the price and the number of users updated. Next, configure the public network accesses. You scroll down the screen or use the quick access bar. Public accesses are in the administration category. So click on administration in the quick access bar. There is a radio button to select the type of public network access, SIP or digital. Per public access type, the tool automatically calculates the number of accesses and displays them in the recommended boxes. They're not cumulative and hence the recommendation here is not to configure 12 T0 accesses and one PCM. Select SIP access per the customer request, then enter the number of SIP channels. The recommended value is 24, but the customer has mentioned they currently have 30 PSTN channels via a T2 and prefers to keep the same number of channels. You enter 30 instead of the recommended 24. Press OK to validate, and we see that the price is updated. Now let's move on to the remote site. Click on the remote site, then add. You can give it a name, which will automatically update the name displayed on the left-hand corner in the customer topology. For this remote site, we need to configure 50 8018 desk phones, and there is one T2 access that the customer wants to keep for the moment. Enter 50 8018 desk phones, then go down to configure one T2. Press OK to validate. Sometimes an information window might be displayed when clicking on OK. Here it says that no attendant was configured and that the phone's power supplies are not included. The power supply might be necessary for customers that do not have PoE on their switches. What is interesting here is that the number of total users has increased. Here there is now 155 users on the system. It's important information for some features such as centralized voicemail. 
The voicemail is in the central area. Just click on the main site, then on voicemail. You can fill in the total number of users here, 155. Press OK to validate and check the price update. That's it for this basic configuration. You can check your configuration clicking on the input summary button and reviewing all the options you've selected. It's very useful to have a quick check, even with the customer. Now that the offer is finalized, let's explore some of the viewing options and then we'll issue the quote. To see the equipment configured, click on configuration and it will display the hardware components of the solution and where they are located. Controllers, gateways, batteries. The select item and the zoom buttons help with viewing the configuration in case you have a lot of items to display. To see the commercial items, click on the display offers item button. Here you have the list of commercial items included in the offer that we've just made. You can check the breakdown per site and also adjust the software licenses by using the tabs. Now let's quickly see how to issue a budgetary quotation. First, click on the quotation button. On this window, you can select the discount to be applied. Here, we'll just go through the main steps. Click on validate. The XLS icon appears. Click on the export to Excel button. Then press OK and click on display. And the offer with all the commercial items and the price is now displayed in an Excel spreadsheet that you can give to the customer. When you have finished configuring your offer, don't forget to save it. Click on the save button. You can then go back to the main screen using the button offer management. Here you can see the offer we've just created. With the offer information area, you can update the status of the offer and add some comments for later use. As an example, date and action. It is very useful when you have several offers to manage. Here we've set the status to first proposal and specified in the comments section that we made the proposal to the customer. Next, we're going to see how to place an order. The customer has accepted our proposal and given us the date when they want to deploy the solution. We can change the information accordingly. Commercial status and delivery date. To place an order, you have to export the offer file and send it to your sales admin. To do so, right click on the offer and select export, then Actus. It should be a zip file. You have the possibility before exporting Actus file to fill some further customer information. While it's not mandatory, it can be useful to record this information to be used later. For example, an additional proposal for the same customer. After the export, do not modify the current offer and wait for the order confirmation. Part three of this tutorial is making an add-on. We'll learn how to get ready for an add-on and quote new needs. Once an offer has been ordered, you'll receive an updated Actus file. If you import this file into Actus, it will finish the offer. To do so, click on File, Import, select the zip file, and it will automatically replace the offer and change the commercial status to finished. Click on Yes to update the offer. After some time, your customer contacts you for a new request. They want to improve their customer welcome by handling more customer calls with a personalized contact. You can propose the 4059 EE Attendant Console. To quote this application on the existing customer configuration, you will perform an add-on. Before making an add-on, check that the offer is finished and you can tell by the status of the offer here. Right click on the finished offer and select add-on it creates a new commercial offer in which you can configure new requirements. Double click on the offer to go to the offer screen. Click on voicemail and enter the number of attendants. Here it's one. Validate by pressing OK and you'll see the price automatically updated here. And note that the number of users has increased by one. Save the offer and update the comments with the information 4059EE add-on. We are done now with our three short lessons. By now you know Actus 20.0, which is the simplified mid-market user interface, and you know how to navigate and use the tool. You know how to create an offer, 
be it voice centric or advanced UC, and you know how to deal with the customer evolution demand. Are you ready for more? Visit Alcatel Lucent Enterprise Business Partner Portal. In there, you will find all you need with respect to Actus 20.0, the complete version, price list and catalogs, open touch suite for MLE sales and marketing materials, as well as ongoing sales incentive programs to help you make your numbers. Now you're an ALE Communications Solutions Ambassador.